everybody. Welcome back to Let's Go Geo. It's time for another Featured Friday. So this is what I have for you today. And your task, as usual on Feature Fridays, if you are new to Let's Go Geo, the way this works is, in addition to the longer virtual field trips that are characteristic of this channel, I also do these Featured Fridays where I show you something, a random selection, a rock, a mineral, a fossil, some feature in the field, and I allow you to have the chance to guess at what you think it is. So it's a nice way. People like testing themselves here and there's a whole Featured Friday playlist. You can go through them and you can make your guesses in the comments. And then you can also go through them all and put your score in the comments as well if you want to brag it up there with others. Now, this is what we have today. This is our Featured Friday and not the background rock, but these rocks that you see here lying on that orange tone rock. So that's what you need to be guessing. What is this rock or mineral? What do we have here? So um, I will show you a couple of different perspectives of it as we go, and I'll give you a little more information about it, and then you can take your guess, and then eventually I will reveal what we have. I will reveal what this is. So let's look at some of these pieces here. So here's a piece here. Take a look at that. What is this? What is this rock or mineral? So that's one chunk there. Here's another chunk here, as you can see. It's obviously darker looking. Uh, maybe you can see through it a little bit there. There's a little glisten. And there's this piece as well. So we have a couple different pieces here. Um, I can give you little perspective on its sound, things like that. So this is just visual. I do always put a kind of an asterisk recommendation out there. If you're seriously identifying rocks and minerals in the field, to be careful, don't go by just something visual or just color. You don't want to go by color, especially for minerals. Minerals come in lots of different colors, so you have to be careful with that. Uh, use uh, some kind of mineral or field identity book. You can get identification books. I have put recommended books um, in. I usually put them in comments of different videos. I can stick one here too. Uh, but just get a decent uh, mineral identification and rock identification guide book, uh, especially if you're just getting started. It's really going to help. But even experts really need to consult guidebooks because they need to make sure that they know, and it's hard to memorize all of them. So you need to know uh, what, the, what the different specifications are for the mineral you're trying to ID. So you look at those and that's how you do testing. So make sure you have something like that. Don't go by just color and be careful with going, like I said, just visual. This is a video. You can only really do a visual guess. That's the fun in it. You can make some guesses, but if you're serious in the field, um, or if you have someone identifying something for you, just be careful with just straight guesses. You know, I know this happens sometimes on Facebook. Someone says, what is this? And tons of people comment. Um, it's questionable as to whether or not you could really get it uh, correct if it's just a visual look, depending on what it is and the background context. Background context, very important. Okay, so let's talk about what we have here today. I gave you plenty of time there with my rambling to hopefully get your guests in the comments. If you haven't already done that, go ahead, drop it in the comments. And let's see. Um, the, the fun part today is that I asked you what rock or mineral this is, but I, uh, I played a little trick on you guys today because this is not a rock or mineral. This does look like glass, and so there is a thing called volcanic glass, but this is not that. Um, if you guessed obsidian, that's a good guess, but this is not obsidian. This is actually human manufactured glass. So well, check that out. This is a piece of human manufactured glass, and this piece really, you know, has kind of an obsidian look to it, but this is a fun little challenge um, that you can, in the field, you know, find chunks of obsidian, you could find chunks of glass, and it looks pretty darn similar. So normally there are indicators as to, you know, that this is a, that a piece of glass is not obsidian, and some of that is color, actually. So if you have just glass pieces like this, color, if it's, you know, purple like this, probably not obsidian. That's not very common. Um, and if it, you know, we have lots of other yellow, uh, 
green. I am in an old mining area, so yes, there are many generations of uh, glass pollution here. Uh, kind of a bluish tinge. So coloration, and then these are brownish here. Um, now what's interesting and why I really chose to do this today is that these are blackish toned and I don't see black glass very often. I don't know when it was originally manufactured, if it was actually a black glass. I'm thinking maybe a dark green. I don't know what happens to that when it sits out in the sun. I know there's lots of, like, this glass has been all altered while sitting in the sun. This, this stuff could have been here, you know, for decades. So um, the mining district is, uh, you know, 100 years old. So some of this stuff has been sitting here for a very long time, and it can get altered by its color. But this stuff just really looks black. So I thought that, that that's what gave me the idea to, you know, throw this little trick out there at you guys. So, yeah. So this is all human manufactured glass here. This is, you know, not volcanic glass. Um, some other hints, though, because this is a common thing to get confused. So you really want to look at it and uh, you just kind of look at the way that that is broken there. That's an indication that this is human manufactured glass. Uh, and also shapes. If you see roundedness like this, that's not probably something you'll find in a chunk of obsidian. So that uh, same um, looking, well, it's not quite diameter here, but everything around that, this piece of glass that's curved is about the same width there. So looks pretty manufactured there. So look for stuff like that. Uh, this one, you can see texture there. That would be an indication. You're not going to find this texture um, common in actual volcanic glass. Now, you will see conchoidal fracturing there. Now, obviously, this is yellow. Get out of your fly. This is yellow. So, uh, you know, there actually is a type of quartz that can have a yellow tone. But... Um, the conchoidal fracturing happens in glass. So that's actually something you use to identify obsidian, and it does happen in either type of glass. So you will see that in both. Now, what I do have as a surprise is real obsidian. So then you can compare. So if, like if I mix that in there, would you know which one was obsidian and which one was glass? It can be hard to tell. And because of this, I will be talking more about obsidian here. We just did... A really fun adventure in Nevada. We were looking at some volcanic landscapes. Um, some people loved my pronunciation of Nevada. So if you want to get in on that, go ahead. You know, how do you like to say it? <laughs> but yeah, we, we will be doing more adventures in this area. Uh, and we will be looking at more volcanics. I will go over obsidian, a whole review, detailed review of obsidian. And eventually, I'll also talk about how you can tell things apart. Maybe a little more detailed than this today. This is a quick uh, featured Friday. But look at that. See, there's your, this is obsidian, this is obsidian. And these are manufactured pieces of glass. So there are similarities. Now, again, you can see there, nice conchoidal fracturing that you can see there cool looking piece of obsidian there but look at the edge see how uneven that piece broke so this is narrower there fatter there you're gonna get chunks like this now if you have really thick glass common in old glass maybe you could get these thicker chunks um a lot of stuff's not made like that anymore so um, it's a possibility but there are other indicators sometimes you can see uh, evidence of the rock that it was associated with here's another piece of that actual obsidian so there you have it that is today's also the edge there breaking that is today's uh featured whatever it is right so this was not a rock or mineral but this obsidian which i'll be talking about more as well is this a rock is this a mineral this is a fun question, and we'll be talking about that soon as we continue our discussion of volcanics and have more adventures here at Let's Go Geo. I hope you guys enjoyed today's little trick, and I will see you guys on the next adventure. Bye.